Howdy, Ace Young here for Channel 22. We're getting ready for Brewfest. And my guest with this segment of the program is Nathan Doerr, the museum director, Sheridan County Museum. Nathan, uh, Sheridan has quite a beer history. We do. Uh, the Sheridan Brewing Company was actually the really the first industry in Sheridan. Started way back in uh, 1887 uh, with uh, George Paul, Arnold Shergi, and uh, Peter Dempel coming to this uh, area and starting a brewery and opened by 1888. Now we're looking at some beer memorabilia behind us. This is all authentic stuff. This is, it is. So the earliest piece we have here is uh, the Sheridan Brewing Company's picnic beer. Um, and then the, uh, the cans and six pack from uh, the, the 50s and the uh, serving tray as well. Well, let's talk about this item here and go ahead and pick one of those out of there because I think that's real interesting. He's getting his uh, cotton gloves on. Delicate stuff, right? It is, yep. We handle all of our artifacts at the museum with cotton gloves to sometimes protect us. These bottles aren't the cleanest, so it protects me. Now that's like a magnum of champagne or something. It, this is, this is a, their picnic beer, and um, there's actually great footage up at Trail and State Historic Site at the Kendrick Mansion of the uh, uh, the Kendricks out on a picnic, and of course they've got their, their picnic beer with them. And I imagine after one of these you have quite a picnic too, right? Probably. <laughs> now are these delivered by a delivery person, or did people go to the brewery? How did that work? Well, the first barrel of beer actually was delivered from the brewery in a wheelbarrow uh, back in 1888. And then, I can't believe you know this stuff. I, well, you know, some of the strange things we learned. Um, and then after that, it was delivered uh, in uh, horse-drawn wagons, and then they had delivery trucks. Um, so if I lived back then, I could say, hey, I need, uh, I need six of these a week or something like that, and they'd uh, deliver them at the front door. That's right, or I imagine you could probably stop by and pick them up there too. Wow, that's amazing. All right, then uh, that's the old, and this is the relatively new, right. and this is quite a history between, uh, uh, about the can. Tell me about that. Right, so um, back in uh, 1949, uh, the rage across the nation was to package your beer in flat top cans. And so the brewery worked with, um, I believe it was Continental Can Company, uh, to develop their um, kind of their, what became uh, their famous uh, yellow and black uh, and red cans. Sheridan beer, was it ever delivered beyond Sheridan? Uh, it was. Uh, originally, uh, they delivered it uh, as far north as the mine camps uh, in Sheridan County and as far south as uh, Buffalo. Uh, and then after that, once they had refrigerated trucks, they started delivering uh, up, to, up to Billings and down to uh, Cheyenne and Laramie. And then in the 50s, they tried to take it to the west coast uh, and marketed in um, Oregon and Washington. You say they tried. It sounds like that wasn't su successful. It, it was not successful. They uh, did the billboards. They did TV ad campaigns, radio ad campaigns, a lot of print ads, and it just didn't work. They didn't have the the uh, capacity to go against the, the marketing dollars of companies like Anheuser-Busch. The big guys. That's right. Well, what a great history, though, and uh, it's interesting because we're celebrating that history soon enough with the Brewfest, which, of course, is a great fundraiser for the Sheridan Chamber of Commerce. It's coming up uh, September 8th, and I understand we're going to have, uh, although Sheridan beer is long gone, we have, what, uh, maybe 12 breweries coming to town to display their wares. That's right, and of course, you know, the Sheridan's brewing history has been um, brought back to life with Black Tooth Brewing Company, so we're excited to have them take on that history. As fun as it all is these days, I do kind of like the idea of yesteryear when I would get some of these delivered to the house, at the uh, picnic bottles. That's right, you can't, you can't go wrong with history. That's right, Nathan, you can't go wrong with history, and uh, a good bit of history when we talk about Sheridan beer. And again, a reminder, the Brewfest coming up September 8th here in Sheridan. Tickets are available, and uh, we'd love to see you here. Reporting for the Sheridan Channel, Channel 22, this is Ace Young. For tickets and information, visit SheridanWyomingChamber.org or call 307-672-2485.